23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. The number of positive tests for the coronavirus in Kern County is now over 500 as the total number of tests passes the 7200 mark. Health officials say there are now 516 people who have tested positive for COVID-19 in Kern County, plus eight non-residents. The number of deaths from the virus is still at three. There have been 7,240 tests administered, with nearly 3,900 coming back negative. They're still waiting for the results on more than 2,800 tests. The Kern County Sheriff's Office announced a sheriff's aide who works at the Lairdo pretrial facility has been arrested for taking drugs and a cell phone into the jail. Officials say they arrested Eric Belmontes last Thursday. They say a month long investigation looking into narcotics and contraband in the facility led them to Belmontes. He, along with two inmates, were arrested and charged. During the investigation, 11 other inmates were arrested or charged with additional crimes related to possessing contraband. Belmontes has been placed on administrative leave pending. The investigation. The Cave family and the Edmonton Oilers announced today the creation of the Colby Cave Memorial Fund to help carry on the, mem the memory and legacy of Oilers forward Colby Cave, who passed away on April 11th. Proceeds from the fund will go toward community programs with an emphasis on mental health initiatives and providing access to sports for underprivileged children. His wife, Emily Cave, said her greatest honor has been that she was his wife. She also added he would be humbled by the Memorial Fund and that she's looking forward to continuing his legacy alongside the Oilers and the rest of the hockey community. Spring-like weather will be the story through Thursday. A high of 80 degrees with sunny skies in Bakersfield tomorrow. Up to 82 on Thursday before a slight cool down back down to those near seasonal temperatures as a low pressure system is going to be pushing over Southern California, bringing just a 20% chance for those showers here in the valley. But it looks like the best chance is going to be in the mountains and the foothills. Slowly warming by Sunday, but cooling right back down to the low 70s as another system moves through by early next week. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23.com.